Even though the medieval period was dominated by the Mughal style of painting, the different schools and styles that developed in this period were Rajasthani school of painting and Pahari school of painting. In the previous episode, we have discussed in detail the Rajasthani school of painting. In this episode, we will discuss in detail the Pahari school of painting. This style of painting developed in the sub-Himalayan states also under the umbrella of Mughal influence. There were many schools that were flourishing in smaller Rajput kingdoms which came under the blanket of Pahari paintings. These consisted ateliers in the court of around 22 princely states stretching from Jammu to Almora. Hence, the Pahari paintings can be grouped into two major groups, Bashuli school and Kangra school. The themes of the paintings range from mythology to literature and brought new techniques to the fore. A typical Pahari painting would bring several figures into the canvas and they would all be full of movement. Each figure is different in composition, color and pigmentation. Three of the greatest painters of this school were Nainsuk, Manakku and Sansarchan. Basholi School Paintings of Pahari school in 17th century were from Basholi to of Jammu and Kashmir. They were miniature paintings. This was the early phase and expressive faces with a receding hairline and the big eyes that are shaped like lotus petals characterized it. These paintings use a lot of primary colors that is red, yellow and green. They used the Mughal technique of painting on clothing but developed their own styles and techniques. The first patron of this school was Raja Kirpal Pal who ordered the illustration of Bhanudatta's Ras Manjri, Geet Govind and the Ramayana drawings. The most famous painter of this school was Devidas who was famous for his depiction of Radha Krishna and the portrait of kings in their livery and in white garments. The use of contrasting colors is associated with this school and they are borrowed from the Malwa paintings. Kangra School After the decline of the Mughal Empire, many artists trained in the Mughal style migrated to the Kangra region of Himachal Pradesh as they got patronage by Rajput Kingdom. It led to the birth of Guler Kangra School of Paintings. It first evolved in Guler then came to Kangra. This school reached its zenith under the patronage of Raja Sansarchan. His paintings were marked with a sensuality and intelligence that the other schools lack. The popular subjects were the Geet Govind, Bhagavad Puran, Satsai of Bihari Lal and Nal Damyanti. Love scenes of Krishna was a very prominent theme. All the paintings had an otherworldly feel about them. Another very famous group of paintings is the 12 months where the artist tried to bring forth the effect of the 12 months of the emotions of human beings. This emotive style was popular till the 19th century. The Kangra school became the parent school to the other ateliers which developed in the region of Kullu, Chamba and Mandi. In Kangra, Sansar Chand Museum can be visited to see the prominent Kangra school of paintings. Ragmala paintings Ragmala paintings are a series of illustrative paintings from medieval India based on Ragmala or the garland of ragas, depicting various Indian musical ragas. They stand as a classical example of the amalgamation of art, poetry and classical music in medieval India. Ragmala paintings were created in most Indian schools of painting starting in the 16th and 17th centuries and are today named accordingly as Pahari Ragmala, Rajasthan or Rajput Ragmala, Deccan Ragmala and Mughal Ragmala. In these paintings, each raga is personified by a color describing the story of a hero and heroine Nayak and Naika in a particular mood. It also elucidates the season and the time of day and night in which a particular raga is to be sung. Moreover, many paintings also demarcate the specific Hindu deities attached with the raga like Bhairav or Bhairavi to Shiva, Shri to Devi, etc. The six principal ragas present in the ragmala are Bhairav, Deepak, Shri, Malkosh, Megha and Hindola. If you want to know about any other topic, please leave it in the comment box so that we can come back with it. If you have liked this episode, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.